Welcome back to the flail playthrough Slash yo-yo playthrough Cannot leave out the yo-yos But here we are We are looking Well I'm rocking this new ocean armor Which is a lot higher defense than the ice armor But yeah We are looking for our next flail Which is the magma flail And the only way I know how to get this Is by going very deep while mining And that's what we're gonna do uh, the next flail after that, I don't know actually, it's like, you, we can go to the dungeon and get some, hold up, that teleported me like really deep underground, oh it kinda did, okay, we can make use out of this, we have, there's stuff we can get from the dungeon, there's a whole lot of stuff we can do, and we will, we'll slowly move our, get, go towards getting all those things done, is that a boulder? Miss me with that shit boulder, alright. Yep, yeah, there's a flail we can get from the dungeon. Oh shit, speak about that dungeon. I probably should not go that close to it. Uh, then there's also the magma flail, which is what I want to get right now. Somewhat easy to get. So we're gonna go towards getting it. And then yo yo's. The only yo yo's I know fairly early on. I guess it's not even that early on. But somewhat early on in Dorium. Is it Thorium? That might name? No, it is Thorium. Uh, because Tremor hasn't updated in the longest time. Content wise. So, the item is, uh, fuck, what is that called? Scorpain? Scorpain? So, you know, you buy it from, uh, the Desert Traveler, or whatever his name is. That, that's the one of the only yo yo's I know. That's re somewhat really early game. Is depending. Well, would you have to fight Grand Thunderbird? And. I mean, it's kind of ass though, but we'll, I'll try and get it. This does 9 damage. I think the Scorpion does like 12. So it's kind of ass. But yeah, let's... We probably don't want to go up if we're looking for lava. Because we need to go towards lava. That's where the magma ore will start showing up. Thing is, it's kind of a dungeon right there. So I do have to like somewhat go around. Hold on, let me see here. See, look, the dungeon's right here. So I don't really know the easiest way to get around it. I'll have to figure something out right now. Alright, we have expanded a little bit and have actually made it past the dungeon. Look at that. Now, we're near lava too. Oh shit! No! Why, Why must you curse me like this? That's so rude. It's really fucked up. It would knock me into the lava. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, take our time here. There's no rush. I really just want this flail, though. No, I want a burning flail, isn't that what you guys have been dreaming of all your life? Burning flail? I don't know exactly what it does, but it's a magma flail. So I expect the use of magma. I hope. Better be use of magma? What the hell? Kind of flail. I'm not going to be respective towards its, uh, its ore and the way you get it. I guess it's not really, like, anything crazy to the way you get it. Can you hit him? There we go. Okay. I haven't seen any yet, but we'll definitely we'll notice it when we see it. We're in fucking hell. Oh, there's some right there. Hey, is this hell? No, it's not hell. What the hell? Jesus. I have the prefix prefix mod installed because um may or may not be using it in multiplayer. <laughs> All right. Let's head down here. Please don't be another one. It is another one. Please get out of here. I'm tired of you guys. I've been like getting barraged by these guys non-stop. You fucking asshole. Jeez, okay. We got six bombs here. Burning to death. Let's let's do this. Let's get our way. Let's get our way. Let's make our way over here. Oop. Should be fine. Should be fine. I'm just gonna mine all this ore this way please don't open the lava no we're good all right let's uh let's get a little bit closer and then i'll use bombs on these just want to get as much of this as i can i think we need like 12 12 like magma orbs or whatever they whatever you make them into and we should be set to go i think i will just get all this and i'll i'll be right back i guess at the surface maybe probably oh you can't even actually mine these oh that sucks Okay, so I feel like fighting the Cthulhu Star. 
I feel like finding the Ikea through because I feel, I feel like we can I can take them I can take them I swear all right hold up here stop don't touch me no nope. all right we're good we are good let's uh let's do this small platform yes small arena yes shouldn't be a problem it's not expert or anything should be pretty much fine primarily I hope there's a big ass zombie right there all right no problem Focus on the task at hand. Aya Cthulhu. This is gonna take a while to kill him. I can I can tell you that right now. Can this guy, this big motherfucker, <laughs> get out of here? Alright, look, I'm already off the arena. I blame this colossal dude. Stop it. You're so rude. You and the colossal dude. Alright. I just gotta keep on getting the frost burn going all the time and then if I can do that we're pretty much set I mean he can hurt me but kinda have like a billion regen so I think I'm fine we really do need to upgrade our weapons though yo yo cough cough yo yo cough cough get it no I it's a pretty ass joke anyways I didn't really get it myself can, can we like not have other monsters spawning in please it would be very nice if that wasn't a thing. This is gonna work though. Just nice, nice and slow is gonna win this. And that's that's all we need is just a win. I don't know if we can make the meatball, the meatball with uh, just just the cream tain. Wait, do I have corruption? I don't even know. But I don't know if we can make just the meatball with that. We might be able to. I don't know. I think you need uh, scales though. So maybe or maybe not we will like attempt to just break some orbs, kill some of the, the creeps from the Brain of Cthulhu, and then from there just make the meatball. Meatball is pretty high damage. I think it's like 18 damage, base damage. I don't know. There's a lot of flails we gotta get. There's also the flail from hell. We just gotta make like an early hell hole is what we need to do. Because there's a flail from hell we can get from the, the flayer dude. If you guys know what I'm talking about. The flayers. The dude with the weird ass tails. We can get their tails and use that as a flail. Pretty cool. Alright, so I'm actually getting hit a couple times. But he's still not doing damage to me. Because I got so much regen. That I, I feel unfair how much regen I have. Oh, he actually got me there. Whoa, watch out now. Let me get that frost burn going. Oh, doesn't that burn? He's got 300 health left. It doesn't feel like it, but he does, apparently. I don't know if I should use a yo-yo or what. Yo-yo is doing more damage now because he's got like zero defense, so. I don't know. It does do a lot of DPS. We'll have to DPS test later on. DPS test. What did I even get? Oh, it's right there. I was about to say, did I get gypped or something? I didn't see it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Let's uh, make this crimtain. Boop. 20. Oh, we can make a yo-yo. Holy shit. I forgot about the yo-yo. Forceful. Watch out now. My arteries are strong. You don't see me bleeding. Oh, fuck. Shut up. Shut for that. Thank God that doesn't drop like a real bomb or anything. That would be like very, very bad. So, we gotta, yo, yo, we are making progress in this episode. I don't know what else we, we can do though. I, I'll figure it out though. I'll figure it out whether it takes me a whole day or not. You guys won't notice that because it'll just jump cut like this. Okay, so to end this episode off, which we should do, it's been really long since I recorded the first like half of the episode and before the jump cut. There's, there's two these two things that we want to make so we can get an NPC to spawn and that NPC sells a yo-yo. I don't think the yo-yo is better than the artery, but our goal will be to collect primarily most, most yo-yos we can. So we will fight the Grand Thunderbird real quick. Uh, let me place a torch down here. Get rid of that. So we need Storm Flare. These are all created at Demon Altar. Four Iron Bars. And then we need Arcane Dust. Which we should have enough to make arcane dust enough for the grand thunderbird that is hold up we gotta head back over here i don't have too much gear on me we do have a new mod in here and this new mod is pretty cool hopefully we'll see more of it uh later adds in a lot of new monsters really cool monsters that fit the game 
There's another star right there. I need that. Thank you. All right, so let's. We don't. Yeah, we do have enough iron. We just need antlion mandibles. So let's go to the right. Get some antlion mandibles. Unless I have some. I feel like I have some. Nope. Other chest. Here we go. Yeah. All right. We should have everything we need then. We just need it to be daytime, which is coming up. And now we also need to find a crimson bomb. I think I'll go to the left. Crimson? Yeah. I do have crimson. How come I never have the corruption? Here's our, one of the new enemies right here from the Legends of Terraria mod. Yeah, Terraria Legends? I don't know. I don't remember the name of the mod. But it adds in a lot of cool enemies. And they do fit into the game pretty well. And I like it a lot because of that. It's going to be probably one of our new main mods until bigger mods do come out. Because this mod, it just, like I said, it just fits in. Fits in very well. This guy is going to drop this. I don't think I can make use of any of this stuff. Like, this ain't a flail. What am I going to do with this? Let's get rid of it for now. But yeah, let's head to the left. See if we can find this corruption. Crimson. Not corruption. And hopefully there will be a demon altar that's easily accessible. Might as well break pots. I don't see no reason not to. Break all the pots that we can. Okay, don't don't lead me all the way into the cave. I don't feel like going all the way in. So if you hear like any noise outside, my window's open. It's not hot or anything. I, I literally just opened it. No, it was open before I closed. Okay, that that doesn't make sense. Ignore me. Die. Okay, this is an interesting enemy. Uh, well, ignore his name, but it's just a pimp. That's the enemy. It's a pimple. It's just very interesting. It's from the also from that Legends of Terraria 3 mod. Cool mod. I will definitely make sure to upgrade my mods list before people go ape shit. Hello, blood crawler. But yeah, let's make our way into this uh, crimson, crimson hole. Oh shit! Okay, no, we're fine. I thought that was gonna be a lot deeper fall. It was not. Thank God. Do we have bombs on us. Yes, we do. I don't like this. I don't like that we gotta kinda go really deep just to get stuff done here. What is that noise? Hello? Is like someone obese person down here? Who's making those loud noises? This artery is doing work. This is some like OP early game we got going on. Okay, I don't know where exactly we would find one easily. Oh no, there's one right there. Never mind, I lied. Whoop! Made that jump on the money grand flare gun and then i guess we'll make as many storm flares as we can five of them nice all right might as well since we're here break this have i broke one of these before i don't think i have who the hell break it lean that was lean all right let's take on grand thunderbird let's do this this shouldn't be too hard of a fight we got a lot of range here even more if we jump with a flail. Hello. He looks big. Is it just me? No, that's just a regular guy. I don't think I can hit him with this flail. Not easily. So we will just use the yo-yo here. This is what we have it. This is what we have it for. Is get that range that the flail can't get. It's gonna, that's why this is going to be very useful. Can you... Where did that ice slime come from the right? It came from the right? The right is like the regular biome. I cannot hit this dude. Do I have a double jump or something? We need some like major upgrades, but we only need to kill one of these guys for right now to get the guy to move in, the uh, desert traveler, because he sells the yo-yo we want. Get him. Whoop! You know, every every time I play and see like throwing weapons and stuff like that, it makes me miss my my throwing character. Throwing the throwing was so fun, but hopefully. I will be persuaded with all these new flails. Not too many new yo-yos. But hopefully I'll be persuaded with all these new flails from Thorium. And a handful of things from Tremor. Boom, bada, bang, we did it. We did it. Should we take on another one? Might as well. It's weird when two pinkies show up at once. And then some playthroughs, I never see a pinky until like the end of the playthrough. But uh, this is nice. This is nice. Two of them at once. Slime rain going on. What a great thing. Holy hell. He dropped more than one piece of gold. What the hell? He exploded into like four pieces of gold and it counted as one. All right. All right, game. I see you. I see you. All right. We'll end off this episode by finding the king slime because uh, the traveling merchant did not move in.
and I don't have too much time to keep on recording and doing stuff. Oh god. Hello. How you doing? Uh, nice to see you so early on in the playthrough, so I don't have to worry about you later on. Did I fight this guy in my mage playthrough? I don't remember. Not the goal of the mage playthrough is to fight every boss. Oh my. Chill. Chill. Everyone chill out. Chill out for a second. Oh god. I don't remember fighting this guy though. I'll be honest. There's so many things going on right now. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to MLG strat this man. And the goal when it comes to MLG stratting the King Slime is this. All right, we're fine, right? He can't teleport that far. All right, we gotta keep moving though. Don't stop moving just in case he does teleport. Oh, you didn't teleport. Surprisingly. There's so many other slimes here, and that's what's making this fight more challenging than it needs to be. I gotta wait for him to jump. Okay, okay, okay. You guys ever been knocked around like that before? Let's just... Okay, goal here. No, don't... Oh, shit, he's teleporting. Alright, goal here is just to pretty much just do the strat that I was doing there. And that's the... Wait, is he stuck? He's stuck. <laughs> Is the just go as far out as I can, and then as soon as I get far out, just teleport back, and we should be fine. Oh shoot! <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. Just uh, stay near this campfire regen. This is a lot harder than I thought it'd be because I have zero mobility as of right now. Like the most, can I get this ticking on him? There you go. The most mobility I have is this. <laughs> it's a fucking mirror. All right, I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's gonna teleport or what. I'll notice him if he teleports. Hey, how you doing? Not good to get like stuck on him like that. Teleport in, here. teleport in. Here. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even teleport in here. I remember my first boss. My first boss. I remember my first fight against uh, King Slime in expert mode. I had to cheese him, and when I say cheese him, I had to. Uh, I died a bunch of times, and every time I respawned. He was stuck inside my house, so it's not like he could have win anywhere. Great, great moments. I'm getting knocked around. I hate that. All right, it's over. It's over though. The hard part is over. Even though he doesn't really have multiple modes. Yeah, he doesn't even have multiple modes in uh, extra mode either. Huh? He does have like the OP blue spike slimes. All right, who's dropping the fire? They need to stop. Greek fire dropping slimes. Look at this. There's so many slimes. 200. I've killed 200 slimes already in two episodes. That's like 100 per an episode, but I killed like 150 in this. No, I killed 100 in this episode. 100? Some number. Some high number I killed in this episode. But yeah. Uh, burp. 